Hey everybody, Matthew here again from My204. Today we have a wardrobe steamer we're gonna assemble. It's pretty simple stuff. We're gonna take this rod here, we're gonna put it on top. We're just gonna screw that on. All right, so we're gonna take our top here. Screw that on. Now we can take this and rest that right here. We've got our water bottle. Now you can hang this from, from here when you're not using the bottle. Go ahead and plug that in. All right. We want to make sure when we're placing the bottle that this little handle right here is going to go right into that slot. That way it presses the button and the water comes out. One of the common uh, issues we have with sometimes with the wardrobe steamers is that people are not getting power to these. Uh, sometimes people simply forget to turn on the power switch and you want to just make sure and double check if anything's ever malfunctioning that your outlet is actually working properly. And once you troubleshoot that, if nothing's working, then maybe your steamer's not working at all. We do recommend you use distilled water for your wardrobe steamer. Uh, that prevents it from having a strong mineral buildup over time. However, normal tap water will work just fine. Uh, you do want to avoid using uh, any kind of chemicals or anything to clean out your steamer when you have it out on rental, uh, such as vinegar or anything like that, lemon juice. Some people think it might freshen up the water, but it'll actually kind of clog up some things inside with the metal and have a chemical reaction. So we definitely want you to use just water when you're out on the job. 